This video is brought to you by Greater Commons. Greater learning, greater opportunities, greater life. Visit us at greatercommons.com. Just talking about the homework here, and here's some nice little homework problems if you're checking this out online. And uh, I'm going to show you all how to add, do this last one. It's going to be a little bit challenging, maybe. And uh, so at the playground, I'm going to create a, a type person, type person struct. And then give it some first string and last string. And then down here, I'm going to create some values of type person. And, uh, and then I want to add those to a slice. So I'm going to have a slice of person, and I'm going to have it be a slice of person, right? And so I just create it, nothing in it. So I create it, composite literal with nothing in it. And then I do XP is equal to append to XP P1. XP is equal to append to XP P2. And if I print, oops, I gotta do X there. Oh, hit C again. And then if I do a print line, gave me a slice of person. So now I could pass that slice of person into my template. I could range over it, I could get each person, and I could print out the fields. So this is new to you, append here. So XP is a slice a type of type slice of person. So when you append, append takes a slice and then a value of the type that's stored in that slice. And then it assigns it to a new slice. But I'm just reassigning it back to that variable because it's of that type. And I'm overwriting everything that was there before each time. And so what, ha what happens is the stuff on the right happens first and then it's assigned to what's on the left. So I get all the values out of there add this value right to these values and then store it in that variable again. So I'll take this code here, copy it. I'm going to add that in as a little helper reminder for you. So there's that code for ya to take a look at. So I think that's a good good stopping point for tonight.